Good morning, good afternoon, good evening in whichever time zone you are. Welcome to JTV, your number one Christian channel. We are glad to have you. We never take our viewers for granted. And so we just want to welcome you to the show. This is our youth program, Nisisi Sasa Youth Talent and Innovation. We welcome you um, to discuss the various things that we found in season one. It's only fair that we also give feedback of what we discovered going out there to carry research. We have discussed that the appetite to know more about the youth stemmed from the fact that we realized the census of 2019 brought in youth of 35 years and below as making up 75% of the population of Kenya, which is 47.6 million. And that being such a huge, huge number of people, we thought it is important that their matters are discussed in this program. And so we have this program which will tend to look at what stemmed out of season one. And we are developing this program to also include live shows where we are going to carry out interviews for the youth who actually have undertaken things that have transformed. And so we welcome you uh, to the findings, which were seven, and the findings uh, came up uh, from seven. We grouped them into seven, and those ones were the youth actually really need to be involved in ministry. The youth have a lot of issues to do with family. The youth also are struggling with matters relationship, how to manage relationships. And the youth are also very, very well endowed in innovations. And so this is the, an IT world, it's online systems, social systems. We are, it's a totally new way of communicating and innovations is an issue that the youth are very, very gifted in. Then we also have prayer. We discussed and have been discussing on this channel that the youth requested a lot of prayer. In fact, over 50% requested to be prayed for and for their mothers to be prayed for. A very interesting outcome. And then last week, we discussed education at length very deep matters of education because this is probably one of the pillars that needs to be completely overhauled and looked at seriously because it is the one that will shake the foundation of this country from the outcome of matters corruption. And so we come with the last one, which is careers. So in today's session, we want to welcome you to just discuss careers as the youth felt what were their options in matters career and so here we are we welcome you for our viewers who have just joined us this is jtv your number one christian channel welcome to the show where we are going to look at careers We welcome you back uh, to the show, uh, Matters Career. We are in Nisisi, Nisisi Sasa Youth Talent and Innovation. Your program host is Catherine Ngambi. I am happy to be with you and to just discuss. Last week, we came up with matters that we said our youth out of education, they needed to be confident. They needed to be accepted in society. They needed to be empowered and they needed to be developed. We finished with the words of wisdom from the book of Proverbs that we should make our wise men wiser and we should also seek to learn. Education has no end. Indeed, we are always getting new knowledge and new information. And so we need never to feel compelled, judged, and that life came to an end just because we never made it. Welcome to the show. You can see numbers scrolling on your screen. Those numbers are basically our 
taglines uh, for you to call us, for you to communicate, for you to give us feedback uh, on the matters that we are discussing here. JTV uh, channel is situated in Kisaju, which is 18 kilometers from Kitengela town. It houses Judah Prayer Center. Feel free to always come here uh, in moments of prayer and we will have a short caption running for our prayer center so that you can be able to come and visit us, have a moment with God. Yuda Prayer Center Kisajo Mahali ya kutafuta mungu Na kuomba usiku na mchana Na kupatia mungu mizigo zako Tunapatika na barabara ya namanga Kama unatoka na robi Kuja pita kitengela Kabla ujafika Kisajo Town Angalia mkono yako ya kushoto Wana barabara Nyaupe ya maram Fuata hiyo barabara Na kama unatoka na manga Pita bisil Pita kajiado Pita isinya Pita Tawo ni akisajo. Hapo. Angalia mkono yako ya kulia. Yuko barabara ya maram. Fuata barabara nyaupe. Fuata. Ambaka unaona milanko. Imeandikuwa prayer center. Kisajo. Ingi hapo. Tafuta mungu. Na utabarikiwa. You are welcome back, our viewers. This is JTV, your number one Christian channel. Matters career. When we look at the Bible, the Bible always has a word for everything in life. So we fail when we don't study the scriptures. Let us turn to Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. A very, very famous statement in the Bible. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Some serious words there. Now, knowledge, as we discussed the previous time in education, brings us now to the aspects of career. Why do people go to be educated? Why do people go to colleges? Why do people go to training institutions? The main issue with the youth will be mainly to fall in some program of career, some form of career. So looking at the nation of Kenya, the nation of Kenya mainly channels people in two ways. You either now move out and do your own business, in which case that is what we are calling business and it's what we call entrepreneurship, an empowerment sector where people are self-employed. Then we have the other stream, which is the, the, career, the career stream, yeah? and that is employment. So employment is actually what unfortunately seems to be the outcome of school. When you go to school, you will always sing Mwisho wa kusoma, utapata kazi nzuri sana. So even as we tear BD, we are tearing BD for us to be under someone else. Not to be a master of our own, but to fall under someone. Is that really what God once for us and the aspect of the book of Hosea my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge those words scream out that even when we go through training and learning institutions the main thing is for us to gather knowledge and when we understand this knowledge that comes through facts when we understand that knowledge because data on its own does not help you until you use the data to become information. It informs you. And when it informs you and you understand what the data says, what do you do with that understanding? You use that wisdom because wisdom is actually application of knowledge. 
Now, this application is what the book of Hosea is mainly talking about. And just to remind you, we did stem from the book of Proverbs. And the book of Proverbs, when we read it, it came up with a statement in Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 9 that said, give instructions to a wise man and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning. So when we go, we take this stream of careers. Which careers are available in Kenya? Kenya has those professional careers that cannot be inherited. And so you find parents telling their children, be a lawyer, be an engineer, be a doctor, you know, be, 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 be an architect. Now those careers really are careers, professional careers are grouped on a certain stem of their own. And largely you find people who take those careers are rated as A or B students because they are their own boss. A lawyer naturally will not hand their, their law firm to a child who has not taken law. And that is where you find imprisonment within families such that uh, since I am a lawyer, in this house there must also be lawyers so that the firm which is called Karanja and Degua Advocates will be inherited by someone who is a lawyer. All those clients and all the work that I have done needs to be inherited. And unfortunately, the person who is being told to go and study law does not like law at all. But because they are an A student and they want to live at peace with parents and they also take cognizance of obey your parents, honor your parents' commandment, they go. And so they spend four years, as the youth said, in hell. So four years in which they know they need to still go back to that home, so they still have to pass very well. And so what happens to a person who is in university, who is doing something that they don't feel, how I feel? It's no wonder they will go into corruption. They will have people sit the exams because they don't find joy in it. They will pass. And what is happening? They have, they are, they are people who will go into a career line that they don't love. So the joy of the Lord, like we are told, is not in them. You don't enjoy the career. And so at some point, you will find people, a very interesting thing that has come up with the youth, you find a lawyer, during the day he's in a law firm, and during the weekends he's a photographer. He loves photographing. He goes where animals are. And you try to connect that photography to law and you cannot understand. Now those are disconnects. So parents have played a huge role. Schools also advising have played a huge role of picking careers for people who seem to be having some certain grades. But have we ever connected passion to career? We know that when people do careers that they have passion in, it flows. And even when they are taught about leadership within that passion, it flows very easily because they are able to implement things very, very easily. And that is the only context where empowerment flows without any flow. People can be developed very well when they are riding within their excellence. In terms of careers, as a HR practitioner, I have seen things happen like when you do a SWOT analysis and that is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. In the context of careers, that is a very important part of analysis. If you find that you find that someone is coming for interview of something which they have good papers in, 
But when they talk about it, they are lifeless. You can see that uh, it doesn't give them joy. But when you tell them, you don't seem like really, they always say, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I can work. But the purpose, the flow is not there because it is not linked to their purpose. And so you find even when you take that person on board, because they score highly in everything, they do not deliver. They can deliver in terms of routine work, but they cannot be developed as a leader. You'd be making a very big mistake pushing that person to a level of supervision, manager, and finally director. These people, at some stage, their self-esteem catches up with them. And they suddenly realize, I'm not even happy. I may be getting the six digits salary, but I'm not happy. So you're finding people who have gone back to school to now do what they feel is their purpose. Indeed, the Bible teaches us that when you connect with purpose, everything else fades away. Energy comes, ideas flow. They are just downloaded by God. You just find, you take joy. You don't even look at time management when you are flowing in your purpose. And this is actually the main things that came up. So what has happened to youth who have, you know, they have no passion in what they are doing. So let's look at statistics again, that even though youth form 75% of this country's population, which is 47.6 million, we also find there is a statistic that has come up in terms of the career aspects. There is an approximation of 500,000 graduates from tertiary institutions yearly. About 500,000 graduate. Now, out of the 500,000 that graduate, 75% remain unemployed. That is a sorry state. That is something that makes you wonder if every year we are going to look at 75%, which is three quarters of 500,000. That's about 375,000 people. Only 125,000 get jobs, get employed. So what, where do the 375,000 go to? And this is really the substance we need to talk about when we are talking about careers. This program is not to do with which are the best jobs and what are the gaps, what should we do. It's to look seriously at what the youth gave us as feedback on careers. Now, if every year we are talking of 375,000 unemployed graduates from tertiary institutions, where are they going to end up? Is it a wonder that we have crime and drugs? No, because people have to find a way to survive. Now, how many go into entrepreneurship? You know, a hassle. Now, we are going to look at where the youth are in our next session. Where are these 375,000 finding themselves? They are doing business in very unusual ways. It's a very interesting thing that when you look at the entrepreneurship sector, when you look at the beauty sector, for instance, the beauty salons and stuff, it's a very disturbing coincidence that you find young men are doing nails. Indeed, when you, when, when you go to most places, like in Nairobi, you just go to a whole beauty sector and you see almost the same 75% are, are young men. So I look at them even making my nails and I wonder 
where will this youth be in 20 years? Will he still be doing nails? Certainly not. So they need to be developed. What is this career that, why are they there? Sometimes I ask them, asma hakuna jobs. So sampaka ukuje, ujifunze kitu, ndiyo ufanye izi vitu. Now, is it a wonder that relationships is another problem the youth are having? Because if you are making the nails of a lady who is having a bad relationship with her husband and she likes what you are doing, what is the likely outcome of that? A lot of them have adulterous relationships with their customers. It is a glaring statistic. When you go to body massage, you find again the same statistic. You find it's young girls. And these masseurs eventually have a way they check out. We are just trying to look at where is the 375,000 going? And remember, these ones are from tertiary institutions. What about the ones who didn't go to those institutions? Where are they? It is a sorry state. Unemployment is costing this country a big deal. And so we need to encourage people to be entrepreneurs. We need to encourage them to be innovation innovators. And when we had our segment on innovations, I'm sure when you watched that young man who innovated that great idea with opening that door due to problems. Remember that entrepreneurship comes from solving problems, offering solutions to those problems. So what is the country going to do about bringing up institutions for innovate, innovation? When we used to be in secondary school, there used to be science congress. There used to be science congress. The showgrounds that we have. Why are we still set back in traditional ways? Home industries, unapata to prison because pe people will still be imprisoned. Prisons are doing a good job at empowering people. As they are there, they learn. Now, that is probably where the people in crime and drugs, they are ending up in prison. And so in prison, they will do anything that the prison has resources for. We see the prison is doing a good job there because people end up sitting exams there. They end up coming out reformed, some of them, but not everyone. So there is a very good percentage of youth in crime and drugs. A lot of youth are missing out on education, like we, have, we said, because there is a, education is very, very expensive. And so even going to do careers in those, uh, those training institutions to learn more about that career, the fees are too high for most youth. They cannot afford. And then we look at the sector of leisure, recreation and community service. This is probably what you find other countries doing in their NYS. People who finish universities go there. This is a good way of making people be able to manage their psychology. Because in getting involved in community service, it transforms a person. And so this is an aspect that probably the government ought to think about because of these 375,000 people. Where are they going? They need to be absorbed in a place that they will be empowered. So we need, we look at the careers and in environments, let's look at just something like agriculture. We asked them questions about agriculture. A lot of youth are not in agriculture. Indeed, 
when you go and look at the people that are doing agriculture, they even say, I like farming, but you know, those jobs that, that you are employed, you know, the flower industry, and the salaries are very low. So even from campus, they are not attractive because they know that even when they go into employment, they will still be the lower paid people. So the only farmers who make it are people who will go and run their own farms and be their own entrepreneur. But again, they say, where is the capital? So agriculture is one sector that requires a lot of this youth to be supported. The ones who feel that they can do agriculture, we need to encourage them to study in some of the things that are sectors that are lacking people. Agriculture is one of those sectors. We need food. People need to produce food. People need to embrace being farmers or having hassles to do with farming. But the youth are not attracted to such. Even the education system is not bringing them there. For parents, they also error. Instead of taking children to see their grandparents who are on farms so that they can know how cows are looked after, livestock, how this is done and how that is done, they remain in urban settings. And so they hate uh, farming. It is considered old-fashioned. Yet food is not old-fashioned. People eat food that is brought by these farmers. So if we have 75% ignoring this sector of agriculture, what is going to happen? We need the youth to be empowered, to embrace matters environment, and to also conserve the environment so that we are able to have a sustainable country. We can talk about rain, we can talk about, you know, water and all that. This is something that needs, the government needs to really, really encourage. Of course, the IT sector is which has marveled a lot of the youth because they are also born in the information age. And so we see it is a powerful sector. It is absorbing most of the people who are being absorbed in terms of IT. But they are ending up as workers, really, not so much on the innovation part. And so they need to also be involved in matters innovation, not just as, ah, this is our IT officer, this is our IT clerk, this is our social media analyst. Do you consider that the minds of a youth are so innovative, they have all the energy in the world? They need to be in innovating sectors. They need to be empowered in order for this industry to be able to, to do many other things. IT is a tool. So it is an empowerment tool. So it can be used in every sector. So we need this powerful tool to be actually implemented in every sector. We need to empower the youth to be able to use this knowledge that they have to be absorbed even by entrepreneurs. We need to have entrepreneurs watch over the youth by taking work studies. They, they, they empower. People are not there who are ready to work with the youth. Even when it comes to industrial attachments, that is another place where youth are being killed. Their careers are being killed there. When you go for IA, industrial attachment, you are supposed to be made to feel what it takes to be in that sector. But what you're finding is people are absorbing them and taking them to areas that they are not, that's not their area of study. A lot of internships are ending up as messengers of that office, tea girls, you know, different things. So it is something that we need to consider. For those who have just joined us, uh, this is, um, this is Nisisi Sasa Youth Empowerment Program. We are looking at matters careers as, as the outcome came in season one of our show where we were looking at the youth and what they are doing. And so as we sign out, we look at what can we do to help the youth? What are the action points? 
youth need access to financial resources for them for empowerment to happen for them to be developed they need to have access to financial resources this access is not being given by the banks because the banks remain traditional in lending the interest rates are high the youth have no collateral they have nothing on them so are we going to ignore what 75 percent of our population is saying the government needs to work to reduce these interest rates to work with banks to empower the youth give them grants we have the Kenya Youth Empowerment Opportunity Program, KIOP. But this KIOP is not even understood by the youth. As much as it's, it's a whole entity of its own, very many youth do not even understand it. Very many youth do not even understand NITA, which is the government arm that places them in places. The National Industrial Training authority needs to be empowered to also develop the youth it needs to work so much with the youth ministry to be able to help increase the number of youth that are absorbed in whether it is entrepreneurship or employment but the NITA needs to also come in very strongly to supervise and make sure that the youth uh, when they are doing their internship, they are doing the correct thing. They are not being misused and mishandled. Corruption is another issue that needs to be handled so that the youth have equal opportunities for everything that they re regard. In terms of education and training, we must invest in education and training for other sectors, like the film industry, the health industry, is another issue that the youth really have passion for but they cannot be absorbed because of the nature of how the sector is managed. So this has been your program host Reverend Catherine Gambi. I'm so happy that you have been here with me. The numbers that are scrolling there feel free to reach us. This is JTV your number one Christian channel and this is the program Nisisi Sasa Youth Talent and Innovation. Feel free to call us and visit us in Kisaju. The clip that will run next will just show you our location. For drugs, we do have a rehabilitation center that takes care of addiction. Feel free to call us, feel free to comment, give us your feedback, like us on our YouTube channel, subscribe because it's scrolling right on your television set, on the gadget that you are watching us through. Subscribe, like us. This has been your program host, Reverend Catherine Gambi. I am so happy that you watched this show. Give us your feedback. Thank you. Muda prayer center kisajo. Mahali ya kutafuta mungu na kuomba usiku na mchana. Na kupatia mungu mizigo zako. Tunapatikana barabara ya namanga. Kama unatoka na rabi, kuja pita kitengela. Kabla ujafika kisajo town. Angalia mkona yako ya kushoto. Wana barabara nyaupe ya maram. Fuata hiyo barabara. Na kama unatoka na manga, pita bisil, pita kajiado, pita isinya, pita tawo ni akisajo. Hapo, angalia mkono yako ya kulia. Yuko barabara ya maram, fuata barabara nyaupe, fuata. Ambaka unaona milanko, imeandikuwa prayer center, kisajo. Ingi hapo, tafuta mungu na utabarikiwa.